Hello and welcome to Multiframe Webinar 2 Video 4 on working with properties. The next member property that we're going to look at is setting our sections and our materials. Choosing the section is very straightforward. We just choose it by name from the list. Choosing a section automatically chooses the default material that's associated with it in the library. If you want to, you can override that material. And you might want to do that for two reasons. You might want to change the analysis properties in terms of the Young's modulus and shear modulus. Or for design, you might just want to change the yield stress and ultimate stress for the design check. Or you might want to change both. The properties associated with the material, the standard and the grade of the material, are linked to the design codes. And particularly when you're upgrading from older versions of the software, it's important that you define the standard and the grade so that the correct material is chosen when doing a design check. You should also be aware that any materials that you create in the library will also be used for any plate elements that you have in your model. So let's go over to multi-frame and if we select a member we can choose the section type command and just pick the size of the section that we want from the library. There's nothing complicated about that. But we also have the option to override that member material. So if we choose the member material option, then we see the available groups of materials and within each group, the available steel grades. So we can override that. So then when we go to the design menu and we start working in design, we can see that the material that we've chosen will be selected and the appropriate yield stress and ultimate stress for that material will then be used for design. Just a reminder for both sections and materials, if you do need to create one on the fly, you can use Section Maker Utility uh, for more complex modifications to the library. But if you just need to create a quick section, you can just use the built-in commands to build a section from its key properties. And if you want to create a custom material, you can use the Add Material command to define uh, the properties of the material. And, uh, all of its other names and properties and so forth in the library. You can even define a pattern to view the uh, material when you're working in Section Maker. So sections and materials are easy to use. Thank you for watching.